Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's continue the model. First, we can show all of our objects. Because we turned on our record history options. So when you turn on all of the objects, and you can adjust your form by using these control points. If you see, then you adjust the line, the surface will change. Explode this surface. We can delete this one. Okay. Double check our building form. Cool. We are doing the skylight. If you have a look a little bit more, you will find each corner of this skylight, they have angles in the corner. It is a blending angle. And also for each of these skylights, they have a thickness roof. Yeah, you can see it. Then let us see how to do it. First, we need to check our line. Check this edge first. We can go to analyze edge. Edit surface options and show edges. Click it. You will find for this edge, there are two sections, right? It means when you duplicate this edge, there will be two lines. One is shorter and another one is longer. So we need to merge the edge before we duplicate it. Merge edge, right click and select it. Edge. Then, then you choose it again. It will be a one edge now. Then we need to join these two lines together. We can use loft command now to create the surface. Do you know what is the reason I just create a um, broken surface? Because I choose the wrong position, we need to choose the same direction for it. Like I, if I choose the first one from the left side, I need to choose the second one from the left side too. And I press enter. And then I create a smooth surface. Explode it. Cool, I just created a single surface. If your one is a multiple surface, you need to rebuild the surface. Let me show you real time to it. You can use loft command for this one again. Choose these options. Reboot surface. If you only uh, set 10 control points for this surface, it will be not accurate for this surface. Let us try. There may be some gaps. Can you see it? So when you do rebuild surface, you can increase your number of control points here. Oh, I do a wrong version again. You can increase your number here, maybe 30 or 40, depends on you, and it will be more accurate. Cool. For my one, I don't need to rebuild it, because my one is a single surface. Do not simplify. Cool. And the last one. If I try to explode them, it's okay, they are the single surface. Well oh, guys, practice until this step. Let's see what we used. The first one we used analyze edge command. This one from edit surface tools. This one. Show edge. And then we used merge edge together. This one. Right click, not left click. Left click is split edge. Well, oh, and then we used Duplicate edge from this one. Then we get this edge. Then we join them together. Join these two edges together. If you don't have these two edges, you need to duplicate them. Here is the join this one. Join edge. And the last one we used loft common to create our surface. 
Hope practice guys and then we continue the next step. Let us continue. Delete the labels. Select this surface and we want to add all of the other objects. So we go to select isolate objects. Find offset curve comment. Click it. And we should select through point. Select the curve. If you don't select through point, you can't offset your curve in your perspective view like this. Press enter to repeat the comment. Go through point again. Then we draw another line to trim our lines. Trim it. If you can't trim it, check your comment bar. Apparent intersections option. We need to turn it on. Okay. Then we do another side. What comment can we use to connect these two lines? Should be in curved toes, right? Find adjustable curve blend. First line, second line. Remember, select trim and join options here. Click OK and this side. OK. We can trim this opening. Right side back. And now I'm doing the thickness of my roof. If I want to extrude this curve line, what column can we use? We can use extrude rate, this one. But you will find it has a wrong direction, right? We need to extrude this curve in perpendicular angle. So we can use extrude normal to surface. Last one, where is it? This one, extrude curve normal to the surface. Spark it, now this one, this one. Do it again, select surface. Choose the thickness. And then we can create our windows here. What comment can we use? We should go to surface creation tools. Check it because it's a curvature surface. So we can't use planar surface. The planar surface comment only works in the same plane surface, right? So we can go to find patch comment. Select the curve line. Build it in to a larger numbers of UV direction lines be 40 by 40 because 10 by 10 may get a gap between the framing and the windows like ok we get this window I can change it into another layer make sure all of the objects so now I have already created this guideline. Let us review what command we used. The first one I used offside curve. This one. Trim command is the second command. Remember to turn on your apparent intersections options. Yes, yeah. And then we used adjustable blend curve. Where is it? We go to edit curve. This options. And then we extrude normal to the surface. Then we go to find surface creation tools. This one. Extrude curve normal to surface. And the last comment we used is patch comment. To create our window. Well, guys, practice and do this step. Hi, guys, how's it going for the tutorials? Now, I would like to share something with you. As you know, you can watch tutorials on our channel. 
But for those who are just starting with 3D modeling or who is interested in having more details and massive learning to improve their Rhino skills, we have designed a series of architectural modeling and design courses for Rhino and Grasshopper. Come to our website, rhinoarchschool.com, the first link in the descriptions. Let's see how it works. Open your browser windows and tap rhinoarchschool.com. Get close to look at our course. You can join our Rhino Architecture Design Tutorials from beginner to advanced course. The first one is Unlimited Time course. The second one is Monthly Payment course. They are the same course, just different purchasing method. Learning this course, you will get a step-by-step -step -by approach to learn with how to be modeling organic architectures, parametric architectures through interesting cases and famous architects project. For example, the Hahadis project, Math project, Via Pingo's project, Shidiju Bonds project, and much much more. Join our professional architecture course and design your miracle. Also, if you want to have files, materials, or YouTube tutorials, you can guide them by supporting and become our blog members. You can find the link in the description. I would like to thank all of our blog membership supporters. It really helps us create even better and more tutorials. If you like the tutorial and would like to see more, please click the like button and make sure you subscribe our channel and we publish the new videos two times per week.